All right, it's time for another math easy solution. Uh, today we're going to discuss further into conic sections and polar coordinates and now go over an example, and that's example one, to better illustrate the unified theorem and, uh, and uh, conics and polar coordinates. So make sure to watch my earlier videos to get caught up. So let's just jump right in and look at this example. It says find a polar equation for a parabola that has its focus at the origin and whose directrix is the line y equals negative, uh, negative 6. So in other words, uh, what we have is something that looks like this. Let me just draw it out. So what we have is, this is the x and y axis. There's the, there's the x, there's the y. So it has its focus here. So this is the polar axis. That is the pole or the uh, focus right here. Call that f. And f is at 0, 0, the coordinates here. And it says find a polar equation for a parabola that has its focus there and, and whose directrix is at the line y equals uh, negative 6. So I'll draw this out like this. And let's say this is here. This is our directrix. This is, I'll write this as directrix. All right, and it is at y equals to negative. I'll just write it over here. y equals negative 6. So this point right here is negative 6 from here. So recall that if you have something like this where that's the focus, so it's going to look something like this where it opens up like this. And if we were to uh, draw a point, any point here, let's call this point P. So if this is the parabola like this, then recall that the polar uh, uh, coordinates is going to look something like this. You know, I'll just draw that in light, uh, light color right there. And then here is, this is one's going to be the ray R, and this is going to be theta. And remember, this is just going to be R theta in polar coordinates. And, and likewise, it's going to be x, y in uh, Cartesian or rectangular. So it's going to look something like that, where this is the polar axis, is the positive x-axis. Now recall that in this case, because it's opening up upwards and the directrix is y equals to negative 6, so recall that in this case, what we end up having is, or I'll put a comma recall in this case, and in my earlier videos I went over pretty extensively on the unified theorem and its uh, simple uh, formulation in polar coordinates. So we get something like this, uh, r equals to e d over 1 minus. It's a minus because it's negative, and it's a uh, e sine theta because it's on the vertical axis opening upwards like that, or upwards or downwards, and it's negative because uh, the distance is uh, of the directrix is on the negative side, so this one's d is 6. So this is what we have. So recall that this is what we would have the formula for a, um, a conic in you know, polar equations. And thus, in our case, what we have is thus for a parabola, we have, yeah, so thus a parabola e equals 1. Uh, this is for a parabola. So uh, that, yeah, parabola is e equals 1 based on unified theorem. And then we also have in this case d is equal to. Oh, uh, negative six. Actually, just six. Actually, yeah. This is six, and then the y equals to yes. Yeah, so this distance across here to the directrix from the focus is going to be d. So in this case, d is going to be equal to well six. This is the absolute value of the distance from there to the directrix. Thus, what we end up having is this becomes r equals to e is one, and then d is six. Six one minus e is one, and then sine theta like that and this is in fact a uh, problem and now if we were to graph this out let me just erase here and keep erasing so let's move this up here so here I've graphed this function out using uh, the amazing Desmos calculator so r equals 6 over 1 minus sine theta and this is in fact what we get there is the focus there at the origin, and then this is going to be 2, 4, 6, 8. So then this is the focus like that here. And recall that uh, for a parabola, it's uh, e equals 1, where e is going to be the ratio of the distance. So from here is going to be exactly the same as this distance. 
So at any point to the directrix or to the focus, it's going to be identical. So this is going to be identical, and you can see that here. That's uh, six. There's six like that. It's every single point. So the ratio here, this one is, if I call this line L, this is PL, and at this point is P, this is going to be, well, PF. We'll put this F on this uh, this side, and this distance is going to be PF. So E equals to 1, where this is going to be PF over PL. So if E equals to 1, they're identical, and you can see that there. And uh, in fact, this is the uh, the same yeah, exact. This is the same exact theorem. Uh, once it, well, it looks like it like this when you do it in conventional coordinates, uh, conventional Cartesian coordinates, and the conventional method, and also the unified theorem. Uh, when it equals to one, it's it's pretty obvious. You just look at it, and it's the uh, problem. So, anyways, that is all for today. If you learned from this quick example, and uh, make sure to watch my earlier videos on the unified theorem and conics and uh, conic sections and polar coordinates. Put the link in, links in the description below. Yeah, very important to understand that so that I could just quickly uh, do the examples and just uh, yeah recall the uh, formulas that I'll be using and why I'm using these ones here. So make sure to watch my earlier videos. Anyway, it's all for today. Thanks for watching. Um, and uh, like always, you can download these exact notes and link below as well as viewing these notes on Steemit in article format as well as uh, make sure to always check out my uh, cool math forums and post any cool math or science related stuff on them as well as in my Discord chat room. Anyways, that's all for today. Thanks for watching and stay tuned for another math easy solution.